Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Kinsey and this is my March Azure Standard Haul. Okay, there was a couple things I was missing from my order, but not too many. So I got some sliced strawberries and nectarines. I get whatever is the best price per pound fruit and that was this. I did order raspberries, but um, they were out of stock. And then we got some more of the Desert Essence toothpaste and Bubby's pickles. Um, some more butter, salted butter this time because that's what I prefer. And some more of this raw milk cheddar, the Sierra Nevada one. Um, I really, we, everybody loves this cheddar. I purposely don't eat a lot of dairy right now and cheese, but this is really good almond um, meal flour and I use this once in a while in a little bit of baking but mostly I actually just make almond milk with that. Accidentally ordered two different kinds of mustard because I thought one was out of stock <laughs> so I've got lots of mustard but that's okay I've been meaning to stock up on different things so that's fine. And Desert Essence shampoo and conditioner. I love this um, the smell of this one it's not strong but it kind of smells like an apple jolly rancher uh, ketchup arrowroot powder I got two this time and then we finally ran out of sour cream so I got a flat of sour cream and the Alexandre Alexander um, yogurt some more sorghum which I learned my lesson with this sorghum I just want to say, if you're ordering bulk grains, I have never had a problem with any of my grains. Um, and I used to freeze them, but I haven't been freezing them because I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> but we ordered a bag of sorghum, and I don't even know if I would have wanted to eat it if it was frozen. But um, I had, I didn't freeze it, I didn't do anything with it. I put it back in my closet, and come to find out, weevils really are prominent, I guess, in sorghum. And my daughter went back in the closet where I have some stuff stored and she heard popping and crackling and she was like, what is that? And my husband went back and looked and they realized that it was the bag of sorghum and they were actually coming out of the side. There was just a couple. So we got all that cleaned up. I put it outside for a couple days in a trash bag, but I was curious what it looked like on the inside. I should have videotaped it. I cut it open and they were eating through all of the sorghum. There was so many everywhere. They were like in between the like protective layer of the grain bag. I can't, I don't know how long I had that bag. I don't know. I've never had a problem. <laughs> anyway, I will be freezing this bag of sorghum just to be on the safe side and all of our other stuff. I don't have a lot of freezer space for it, but we're gonna make it work. Um, so that's my story of you should freeze your grains just to make sure you kill off any bugs. But again, I can't imagine that they reproduce that much. Like, I think it probably just had a lot of bugs in that batch because um, it was crazy. So, okay. I got some more honey because like I said, I've wanted to stock up on a couple things just to have a backstop with everything that's going on in the world. And some coconut oil. I really like these gluten-free non-dairy burritos. They are like totally luxury, nice item um, to have on on hand, but it's nice to have that for some things. Or when my husband and I go on a date, we can throw these in the oven in um, for a dinner for our girls and our son. And I got some laundry soap. This one is smells really good, the Lang Lang. Some gluten-free tortillas because I had the other ones and I didn't buy gluten-free tortillas and that was really disappointing to not have anything gluten-free. And then this is the big, I can't remember, this is the 20 pound box of their Southern Style um, Organic Hash Browns, which we love having these on hand. And also, I got one more box. This is the box from last um, order. <laughs> and then I got one more box of chips. Okay, that's it. That's my haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. 